Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh defended himself in a televised interview tonight, once again saying he's innocent of the sexual assault accusations leveled at him by two women. He also declared his intent to see the confirmation process through the end. CBS's Nicole Killian reports from the Capitol. Brett Kavanaugh says he's the target of a character assassination. I'm not going to let false accusations drive us out of this process. The Supreme Court nominee appeared on Fox News with his wife, Ashley. We're looking for a fair process where I can be heard and defend the, my integrity, my lifelong record, my lifelong record of promoting dignity and equality for women, starting with the, the women who knew me when I was 14 years old. I'm not going anywhere. Kavanaugh spoke out after another sexual misconduct claim surfaced. Deborah Ramirez, a former Yale classmate, told The New Yorker Kavanaugh exposed himself at a drunken dormitory party, then thrust his penis in her face and caused her to touch it without her consent as she pushed him away. Kavanaugh has denied the allegations. His wife talked about how their children are coping with the attention. We told them at the very beginning of this process, this will be not fun sometimes. You're going to hear things that people feel strongly and you need to know that and just remember you know your dad. Democrats want Thursday's hearing postponed so the accusers claims can be investigated. Republicans accuse them of orchestrating a smear campaign to delay Kavanaugh's confirmation. President Trump also weighed in. There's a chance that this could be one of the single most unfair, unjust things to happen to a candidate for anything. GOP leaders are promising a quick vote on Kavanaugh after the hearing. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Kavanaugh supporters hope to have him seated on the court in time for its fall session, which starts October 1st.